Hi folks, in this video I want to show you how easy it is to deal with your database using Prisma. Prisma is a library that supports many different databases including MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL and also MongoDB. So let's get started. So this is the website of Prisma at prisma.io. So let's access the documentation. Here there are documentation to uh, build a product from scratch for relational databases or MongoDB and how to connect your database. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use a Postgres database. But before doing it, I want to create a new Next.js product project. Here it is the comment. I go to the terminal and execute it. I call it my next app. TypeScript is lint. Tell me no. Source directory yes, uploader yes, and default import alias. Let's open the folder in VS Code. All right, the first step is to install Prisma into the project. All right, install the Prisma client. This is the command. Connect your database. You need, we need this file. It should be automatically generated for us. We need to call npx Prisma init. The next steps are to set the database URL in the .env file, set the provider, execute Prisma DB pool, and npx Prisma generate. So let's do it. This is the .env file automatically generated. This is a placeholder connection string for our Postgres database. Let's create a database. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will use Railway. Railway allows to spin up a um, disposable um, PostgreSQL database and after 24 hours it will be removed so it's a temporary database so don't use it for your uh, production things until you want to pay and make it uh, persistent all right in the variables i find the database url i just copy it paste it now our database is completely empty so if i execute npx prisma db pool Nothing will happen, basically. So with this command, Prisma is retrieving the schema of our connected database and it's mapping it into the Prisma and Prisma schema.prisma file. In this case, we have um, an error. The introspective database was empty. Uh, this is correct. We just created our database, so it's completely empty. So let's open the schema Prisma file. So here, where the schema of our database is defined, uh, with this specific um, syntax of Prisma. So let's create a new table. We use the keyword model, and user is then the name of the, um, of the table. And let's create some columns. So ID is a string. It is an ID, is automatically generated as a CUID. Email is a unique string. Name, let's remove the fact that it's optional. And then we have created that and updated that to date times for the records. All right, now that we define this table, let's apply it to the database. So if I go back to Railway and I go to Data, it's completely empty, there are no tables. So let's execute npx prisma db push this time. This command will apply what is defined into the schema to the connected database. All right, this is executed. If I refresh, we have a user table with no records. Amazing. Let's add a row. Let's create um, an ID using this tool. Shift clap, free tools, secret password and ID generator. Here there is a random ID, CU ID. You can generate how many you want and just copy it. I pass the ID. The email is luca at gmail.com. The name is Luca. The value for created that can update that is now. Okay, record created. Now, let's try to retrieve this data into our application using Prisma. I move to the page.tsx. Let me execute this, this project. All right. Let me remove everything. Just add a H1. So we want to retrieve all the records of our table and show it in, the, in our page. So in order to do that, we can use the Prisma client. Prisma client. 
equals new Prisma client and let's use it Prisma client dot user dot find many this returns all the records from the table and let's make this function asynchronous because we are using a wait keyword all right now let's print here you see we have the name of the record let's print also the email okay so you can see how easy it is to retrieve data from a, from a table now let's say that we want to create a new record to show this to you i will use server actions of and that's us because it's very convenient to use let me say create a user okay we create the form we create some input elements for the name the email and the submit button let's create the async function create user this is form data we get name we get email okay at this point we need to use prisma to create a new record inside our user table and we do exactly this so prisma client dot user which is the table dot create and we send the data we pass the data that we want to use to fill the new record and we pass name and email we need to use the use server directive to make this function a server function okay perfect so I can say eric and eric at gmail.com submit you see that the post has been executed in background if I refresh the page I also have the record for eric now let's say that we want to remove some records from our table and we can use form connection is delete user we create again a function sync function delete user event form data this server in this case we need to include an hidden input element with the name id and the value is the user id and now again we use prisma client user table delete where id equals id if i click on this delete button the record for eric is simply removed but now let's say that um, we want to add a new column to our table so for instance we forgot to add the surname the surname column so this part is very important now in order to apply the modifications of the schema to the actual database we need to do execute npx prisma db push but now look at what happens now prisma throws an error we found changes that cannot be executed added the required column surname to the user table we found the default value there are one rows in this table it is not possible to execute this step to apply this change we need to reset the database do you want to continue all data will be lost of course we don't want that and the default answer will be no if you just hit enter so the reason is that prisma doesn't know how to i mean not prisma but the database doesn't know how to fill the values for the new column for the existing rows so what we need to do is to add this question mark to the surname to the type of the surname column and this way the existing rows for the surname column will be filled with the default value with now so we can safely execute the command again and this time prisma will be able to create the new column in the table here we go all right and now the surname column is present this was a very brief introduction to prisma if you have any questions leave them in the comments and see you next time bye